Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Technology and today I'm going to show you guys how to transform your old dusty laptop into a powerful home NAS server and completely free using open source software called Rockstore. Whether you are looking to backup your file system or system media or just build your own private cloud, this setup is perfect for beginners. So without wasting much more of your time, let's get started. So at first you need to open your browser and go to this website which is rockstore.com. The link I will provide to my video description. After that click on downloads button and here you will get a built-in open sushi ISO option. So simply download that one. So as you can see it is downloading. So now what I have to do is I have to download Rufus a bootable USB maker tool on my computer. For that simply go to rufus.ie.ie website and after that download that standard uh, version. So after download Rufus you just need to open Rufus on your computer. Click on yes. And here I just need to insert the USB pen drive in my case it is 64 GB. Click on select and select that ISO file and click on open after that you need to click on start click on ok and as you can see it is started now insert the bootable usb pen drive to your laptop after that you need to press the bios key in my case it is f9 maybe in your case it is different and it will open my boot menu window now press down arrow key and select USB hard drive. Now here you just need to select the second option which is install Rockstar. Now here you just need to select your hard drive. And after that press enter. Now it will showing like destroying all data. I will press enter. After that press enter to start. Now here you just need to select the system local. Now select your keyboard layout from the list. After that press enter. Select the time zone. Now put your root password. In my case, I am setting over here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. After that, you need to type the password once again and press enter. After installation done, you will get the login screen as you can see. Now you need to open your browser and simply type https colon slash slash the IP address of your server machine which is in my case 192.168.0.142 after that click on advanced and click on was it to unsafe and here I just need to check that I accept license agreement and type the host name in my case I will type over here technology and username I will type over here technology same and password I will set here 1234567 you can set any After that click on submit button. Now click on this update now button. And under testing updates you need to click on active. Now it is done as you can see. So I will use this 500 GB SSD as a storage for my rock store. Before use that SSD on my rock store, so I will go to desk management tab and after that I will delete that partition. So delete that volume and it will show as an unlocated partition as you can see. So now I will insert that SSD to my laptop as you can see. Now after insert SSD to your laptop, you need to go to storage under rock store and click on risk scan and it will detect your hard drive or ssd now go to pools 
and click on create pool. After that, here I need to type the pool name. In my case, I am putting here storage underscore technology. So I will select here red configuration single. If you want have a two hard drive, more than one hard drive, then you can select red technology. Now here I will select my SSD and after that click on submit. After that, as you can see, it is showing over here. Now I will go to shares and under share, click on create share. Here you just need to put any name. So I will put over here backup. On pool, you have to select that pool which you have created already. Now here you need to select the size. So I will select full size over here. Now click on submit. So once it will done, you need to go to system. Then click on users. After that, click on add user and then click on uh, you type your username over here. In my case, I will type over a test password is test. And in groups, you need to uh, select users group over here. So here it is, as you can see. After that, click on submit. After done, you just need to go to storage. Now click on Samba. And you need to enable that Samba service. After that, type any work group name and click on submit. Now, after done, you need to click on add Samba export. And here you just need to type that a uh, share name, which is in my case backup. After that user, I will type over here test. Now I'll select here browsable. Yes. And guest. Okay. It's no read only. No. After that, I will click on submit. Now I'll try to access that backup folder from my another PC on my network. So here's my Windows machine. So from here I will connect that shared drive. So I will click on map network drive. Here I will type slash slash then IP address of that Rockstore uh, server machine. And after that click on browse. Now as you can see backup folder is showing. Now click on finish. Now as you can see backup drive is successfully added on my, my computer. So before ending this video, I would like to big thanks to all my channel members, a special shout out to everyone who regularly watches my videos and support the channel through membership. Your support truly means a lot. So if you want to support the channel too, then click on the join button and become a channel member to help me to making more helpful content like this. Thanks again for watching and as always, I will see you on the next one.